That's fine, dude. You don't have to. I'm not doing it a third time. That's all right, man, dude. Welcome back. Hopefully. To you. Me? And welcome back to the viewers to episode number 49. I think that's right. I believe so. I think so. that's right. Uh, some yeah, technical could... difficulties, as always. This is officially, I believe, the latest we've ever recorded. Uh, is that... We are two minutes from true. midnight. Two minutes, bro. Check again. We're six minutes from midnight. Uh, that's fine, though, because, you know, people like that. They like the late night vibes. I wish they were here to enjoy this nice fireplace that we have you as see that? well. Patrick's wearing a Batman shirt. No! And we're... Well, what is Spider it, Spider-Man! Oh! And speaking of Spider-Man... Guys, Spider-Man 2 is out, and it came out on Friday. But we're not going to be talking about that until part two... Well, in case there's anybody listening and they don't want spoilers. We well, I think it's going to be re- to enjoy it's going to be spoiler time. free regardless because I'm not even well, halfway not, down the game. Not necessarily, though, because we'll be talking about at least what you've been through. Mm. Although we can do a spoiler free review. Yeah, I think we just do spoiler free because then people more let people listen. It's not going to change anything. Well, dude. we put in the title Spider-Man 2 First Impressions. Spider-Man 2 First Impressions. Spoiler free review in brackets, dude. Yeah. Um, and what if we get no because views? Because last what if we get podcast. Well, what if we get zero views? Would you kill yourself? Yes. Last podcast you put, is Assassin's Creed Mirage good? And not only did we not come to a definitive answer, we recorded that before the game came out. Then it was released after the game came out. Mm. <laughs> well, we did try for the clickbait. It didn't the totally. game sucks. Got the same score as Spider Man, though. So well, that means it's just as good. No? From IGN. IGN gave the latest Gran Turismo a nine. Mm. Let that sink in. And they Better gave Spider Man 2. two. They gave Spider Man 2 an eight. Is that right? Let we'll do that. that sink. Guys, in. I was just so Forza. For anybody at home, Forza. No, no, Gran Turismo. Grand. Oh, Gran Turismo. Grand. <laughs> Spider-Man okay, 2. Spider-Man better. Right? Think about that. Yeah, I mean, Spider-Man 2, objectively, is a much better game than Gran Turismo 9. Mm. Objectively. That's not now, even subjective. What are we munching on today? Unfortunately. Unfor- that's fucked up. Girl Guide cookies. But which one specifically? The mints. Thin Mints. That's right, guys. One of the best cookies to ever, uh, ever be placed on this planet. Mackenzie got me white chocolate covered officially licensed Oreos. Holy. For my birthday. Are they good? That was the only gift she got me. It's not your birthday yet. The fuck? Might be when this comes out, depending Mm -hmm. on how long you take. No, no. Because I actually got new editing software. Like, is this going to be the birthday pod? No, no. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 But it'll, it'll be coming out tomorrow. Oh, it's not my birthday yet. But your birthday's on Friday, so then the next one won't be a, your birthday pod either because it'll be over. So we're just gonna Happy skip. birthday! So we're just going to skip my birthday. Yeah. Well, yeah. We didn't skip mine, but we'll skip yours. Is that fine? Is that rude? Oh. No, it's not rude. It's just oh. how it is. Oh. Putting the cookies away. My review of Spider-Man Two is that it makes Not me feel sponsored. is that it makes me feel like I could be the next Spider-Man. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's a good spoiler-free review. But does it make you feel like Spider-Man more than Arkham Knight makes you feel like the Batman? IGN written review? I didn't watch the video review, but the IGN written review at the end says it says something like, "All right, fine, I'll say it. It does make me feel like Spider-Man." Eight, eight out of ten. <laughs> Asshole. But what's but what's f- so silly is we were looking at it and Spider Man, the original one that came out, IGN gave it an eight point seven, and then in the written review for this one, the guy said that it's Insomniac's best game, best story yet, or best best game yet. Yeah. Hmm. L- lower score. But how's that <laughs> work though? Is IGN smart? <laughs> no. Now oh. I don't I don't know. Maybe it was the same guy reviewing both. The problem with IGN is that they have way too many people people reviewing 
games. So there's no consistency across the board. There's no like, like there, what if no they got the one person who doesn't like the game, who doesn't like open world games, right? To review it, it was so it's so biased. And they like if there's somebody who likes linear games, of course they're gonna dislike it. Obviously, dude. I mean this game is pretty linear. It's completely open world. You go wherever you want. But it's not. Oh, man's never played open world before. Well, it's it's open world in the sense that, of course, you can go anywhere you want, but you can only progress the story one that's way. That's not what open world. That's not what linear is, dude. Linear is. Oh, I like, guess linear is like Uncharted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, it's definitely an open world game. Mm-hmm. Um. Sorry, I just thought. I sorry when when you said linear, I was thinking like. Elden Ring, where you can go do that first, or you can go. Elden do that Ring is first. the only open world game that you can do that. Think of another open world game um, that you there's not one main story objective. Line. Madden. Oh my god, you guys never played. You can Madden. play as any team you want. That is true. You can do my career mode as any character. Yeah, as anyone, <laughs> as any character, you can play as AP and Calvin Johnson. Yes, that's awesome, dude. Um, but yeah, no, this game is like really good. What That's I will really say is, like, obviously, fuck IGN. They're idiots. But so happy to see across the board just, like, everyone loves this game. And how could you not? Now, there is one part of the game that keeps it from being a 10. Is it the bike missions? I honestly really... That was only one. And it was five seconds long. I really... And it, it was Cigarette Daydreams. Did you recognize that song? When you're biking with... Yeah. Uh, no. Okay, well, they're playing Cigarette Daydreams. Just the instrumental, though, but that bike only happens once. Now, I have. there is a side mission where you ride the bike again. Oh, okay. What I will Not say... Not the bike missions. Yeah, is this a spoiler that you're going to say of something yes that I haven't no. played yet? I yes don't want to. No. I don't want to hear it then. You have done it already in your life. Not in this game. You've done it already in your life. Then I don't want to hear it if I haven't done it in this game. I didn't, so I didn't say anything, asshole. <laughs> But as there's one multiple of this one thing, because hmm. I want you, I'm going to hint at it until you get it, but I'm not going to tell you. Like, I'm almost certain I know what you're talking about. Well, say it. Does it have to do with certain missions where you play as someone who isn't Spider-Man? Well. Yeah, see, I haven't done any of those maybe. yet, so you fucking spoiled it. I didn't say yes. <laughs> Come on, man. You knew those were in the game. I didn't know Mary Jane missions were in the game. I didn't say it was Mary Jane. Well, who else would it have been? That I, isn't any. So that isn't either of the Spider Mans. So many characters in the game. Do you play as J. Jonah Jameson? I didn't want to spoil it, but yeah. <laughs> have you? Wait, have you? Because I, I didn't. I haven't minded any of the missions where you are playing as just Peter or just Miles. I like the balance between those missions and Spider Man because that's because Spider Man is not Spider Man all the time. No, no, I, I didn't mind it either. Do you, I, play I as, um, do you play as um? Do you play as Uncle Aaron? I didn't want to say it. Play but, as Uncle Aaron, but not Prowler. Oh, yeah. You just walk around. Yo. Um, I had a feeling that they were already in it because one of my buddies, as well ahead of the game, was like, "Do you want me to tell you if they're in or not in?" I'm like, "Okay, so they're <laughs> well, in." Well, you haven't beat the game, <laughs> so if you beat the game, you would know. Yeah. Um, but I thought you said that there was a review that you read somewhere that was like, "You play as somebody that isn't Spider Man." Maybe I had said that. Because you told me that. Maybe I had said that. So that I, like, like, I, like, I, I knew going into them they were going to be in I them. wouldn't be... I I didn't really think that... At, at Where I am, like halfway through the game, according to the PlayStation tracker, haven't had a single one of those. So I assumed that they weren't. But if they are, as long as I don't know the context, I don't really care. I mean... I'm not going to tell you the context. I kind of assumed they were going to be in it. But I will say... They're better. Yeah, all of they the, are better. They're what, not as fucking. Oh my god! They're like they're not super super long, and they're like you're not just like following a fucking path. Yeah, that's like how actually I, doing something. That's how I felt fun. with with the missions so far that you play that you're not in the costume is. But that's just gonna be as you're doing other stuff instead of yeah. just like sneaking and walking. Yeah, that that you're doing yeah. other stuff. That's what I was gonna say. It's like this game. It feels a lot more like story driven than gameplay driven where the first one I felt like you weren't really out of the suit that much. You were at feast a few times. 
Um, and then there were the Mary Jane missions and like the one Miles Morales mm-hmm. mission. But other than that, you were in the suit the whole time. Yeah. Where like this one, I felt like you were out of the suit. They were, they were focused way more on like just overarching story instead of yeah. Um, how can we get these people to be Spider-Man for as long as possible? Mm-hmm. I don't think this Mary Jane thing's a spoiler, dude. Like, you had to My know. whole experience was ruined. You had to have known. My whole experience was ruined. Also, it doesn't take anything away from it. You're still going to be just as mad when you find out you're American. We were playing as Mary Jane. I know I was. Yeah, I'd probably just be like. But the only reason why is like, ugh, I could be playing as Spider-Man, though. Like, yeah. I would just rather be Spider-Man. It's not necessarily that the, the, the missions are bad. It's just like, ugh. but now I'm not Spider-Man. When I'm doing this, I'm not Spider-Man. I remember when they shared a picture on Twitter of what Mary Jane looked like in this game. Someone tweeted the photo and was like, "I'm supposed to fight. Ven- I'm supposed to fight Venom for her." Yeah, <laughs> she looks so different. I know, and Miles yeah. and Peter look I the exact same. Peter, Peter looks a little looks older, heftier, and his neck is thicker. I, that is what they needed to do. No, it makes because sense. I am not. He looks older. Yeah, because when they first of all, they should have never changed his face model from the original. I don't. I didn't think they had to. I don't really care, but I don't think they had to. The reason why, I just think it was like it weird. Just, it wasn't even close to the old one. Like, why do that? Story wise, it makes more sense for him to look like what he did when the first game first came out. Why? Because he looks older, and he's supposed to be older, like in a mentor role for Miles. But then when they when Spider Man PS Five or when Spider Man Remastered came out on the PS Five and they changed the face, he looked. Borderline young, like arguably younger than Miles, which that that just doesn't make any sense. I never saw that. Part. And then in this one, that he looks he looks like obviously the, the the model is the same as the yeah most recent remaster of the PS4 game, but he he looks he looks older. Like it it fits better. Yeah, but Mary Jane is Mary Jane. That's a different woman. <coughs> It is a different person. I don't know why. Again, so. they're just changing the models for no reason. But again, it doesn't take away at all from the experience. It's what I was saying to you before. It's like when you go from Infamous 1 to 2, and that's just a different person. It's a younger person. Yeah. Infamous 2 is a younger Cole it's a, McGrath. Like, at least... Like, in the term... Not, not actually. At least the when they look. switch the, the, how the character models slightly look in these games, it's the same voice actors. Yeah. Infamous one to two is a different model entirely. He's not, and but a, he's like, yeah, I mean, and a yeah. different and a different voice actor. Not model entirely. It's still the same guy. You can tell, but like, it is different. He looks much younger in Infamous two. And it's a different, but it's a different voice actor also, which is oh, just really? like I don't know if I noticed that. I'm almost first, certain it's totally different. Like he first, sounds way. Different. I believe you. The first Cole McGrath. The first Cole McGrath fit, smoked a carton of cigarettes a day. It fit the vibe of Infamous one yeah. so well. Yeah. And Infamous 2 just didn't have that same vibe. Infamous 2 had, like, a much brighter vibe. It didn't feel like I was playing in, like, sepia. Or not sepia, because sepia's, like, brown. It didn't yeah, yeah, feel it like I was like... playing in, like, contrast 50%. Yeah. It felt like I was playing in, like, contrast 100, like, normal colors. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I I, I kind of like the vibe of the first one. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like the difference between Assassin's Creed 1 and 2. Like how there's like that very distinct, gloomy, like mm-hmm. ominous. I think you're talking about the, the models because also no, when you, no, like when the, you go from uh, general feel when you go from Assassin's Creed Revelations to Assassin's Creed Three, Miles look or Desmond looks. Yeah, it's a different person. Like a totally different yeah, yeah, person. Yeah, it's a different person. I think so. This is not like a new thing. That I think Assassin's to. Creed has been down the shitter ever since. Well, I guess Black Flag, but ever since like ever since the end of the Desmond story, oh yeah, I don't know why they killed him off. So if they're gonna make these this many games, why they kill right. Desmond off <laughs> I know. so soon? Yeah, that that was the best storyline and the best character. Well, not the best character because because what it felt like, like the best outside the only outside character. What it felt like they were leading up to was just ultimate like a a, a grand finale game where you play as Desmond in current day. That's what I thought they were all I was always like, "Oh, we're catching up. We're eventually going to hit yeah. modern." No. But um, then but then they killed Desmond and then reset. And then it just they just stopped Now it's just like caring. random. 
It's yeah. just like no, it's just totally it's like random. Uh, let's let's make a Japanese game. We haven't had one of those yet. All yeah, right, so it just be, doesn't make. It's just going to be Ghost of Tsushima. They've just given up at this point. Well, they haven't given up. They've given up on trying, but Ubisoft hasn't tried since Division. My God. Division was good. I will say Division. When was, was the last time that they innovated? It honestly may have been Division One, because they didn't innovate with Division no, Two. Division Two was just a, was just like a longer story. Far Cry series they haven't innovated since Far Cry Three. Far Cry th- th- One. <laughs> no, I think Far Cry Three was like a was Far like Cry a way Three was the last one like, that everyone was like, "This, this is, is great," and then Four was like, "Okay, okay," same and thing. then Five was like, "Okay, All same right," thing. and then Primal was like, "How do you?" When I remember. People are talking about Far Cry Primal being like, there's no, I mean, this has to innovate because how could you do, that was like Mirage. How could you do, have all these abilities and weapons and all of these things when in, in cave mandate and they found a way to not innovate. Well, that was like, I was, I was watching this video and I'm pretty sure it was an origins clip like Assassin's Creed origins where you go on a side mission, and you get a final fantasy weapon. I don't know if you yeah. did that side mission. I think in Origins, I but all of a sudden this did Final Fantasy that. character walks through a portal, and the caption is just "This is in an Assassin's Creed game." <laughs> yeah, yeah. In uh, I think I did that, and one. then he just you get, takes um, off as an archangel and leaves his sword and shield behind. It's like I can't remember that. This is moment. ancient Egypt. I can't. Rem- I mean, but you can't say that like Assassin's Creed hasn't been super unrealistic. I know. Bro, Ezio went and met a demigod from the year nine thousand. Bro, who is, who is this? Yeah, who is this month? We no, see. I know. I know. Uh, that didn't bug me. That's just like, it just made me think of that. I was going to say, Ezio, did Ezio ever find out who Daishman, but he does. In Revelations, he does. Does he? Yeah. Um, but there was also like, dude, there was also like Subject 16 who was just like, who is this Subject 16? What happened to him? Nothing. Oh. Yeah, bears. Holy shit, nothing happened to him. Yeah, well, they were really trying back then, and then they were like, you know, we don't actually have to try as hard. You know, as we, we don't actually care. We've established the IP. We don't. Have I don't to think. Try. Oh no, but that's not true. I was gonna say I don't p- think people are gonna buy the next Assassin's Creed after Mirage, but that's not true because it's it's the Japanese one, and everyone's gonna be hyped for that. But it's just gonna be the same thing. Go play Ghost of Tsushima instead. I promise you, it's you're gonna, gonna be have a much it's, better. It's time. just gonna be Ghost of Tsushima, except. Assassin's Creed except and bad the IP is Assassin's Creed and bad if the combat is anything like Mirage it was almost like Mirage had a a, a lower budget well it almost certainly did like that that's why it's so bad well it was DLC first but it it would have been a better game if it was DLC because it would have been running the DLC seems like it's running on a different engine what happened to the combat they went backwards they went backwards with the combat. You're fighting a pylon. He doesn't react when you hit it. It is interesting though he because he doesn't move. He doesn't. He doesn't stagger. He doesn't. He just keeps going. I have heard some people say that this game is taking steps in the right direction, and then I've heard other people who are kind of like, yeah. "I'm just so uninterested in this game, and it's yeah, just but boring." I've, I've heard people say. Elden Ring isn't legendary. I've heard people say uh, Gran Turismo is better than. I'm Spider-Man pretty sure we too. said Elden Ring wasn't legendary. If you won the tapes back last year, I'm Maybe. pretty sure we would have said that it's overrated. No, I don't think I ever would have said that. I remember loving the game from, from minute one. I, I remember think. just being like, how could you possibly say Elden Ring was better than God of War Ragnarok? And now here we and stand like easily. probably is and it is. Yeah. Well, it it is and it isn't. Not a better story, but just a better game in general. I think just like uh, everything that if you look at everything the games have to offer, it's just Elden impossible Ring has more to offer. It's impossible to judge them on the same scale. It is hard because they're two different games trying to comp- trying to do two different things. Like in my opinion, both are ten out of tens. They both For do. Reason, they both do. Fucking, what are you doing? Well, fuck me. They both do what they wanted to do perfectly. In my opinion. Yeah. Now. Obviously, people are going to say that that Atreus Jotunheim level is a little egregious, which is fair. It was a little it was long. long. <laughs> it was it long. Was long. Not well, even the Mary Jane mission. Who did someone just take your microphone? I think someone's real quick? over there. I think someone just stole your. Not microphone. even the Mary Jane missions were that bad, or that long. Yeah. Sorry. 
In the original game, I'm saying. In the original Spider-Man. The Mary oh, Jane yeah, yeah. You could fly bad. through the Mary Jane missions. Yeah. They were boring as hell, but they weren't that long at least. They knew. I had a feeling that there was going to be a Mary Jane mission the moment she pulled up on a motorcycle at the beginning. I was like, okay, they're going to give us something to do with her at some point. Which, again, I oh. don't honestly care. If if it doesn't take up it's too much time, it's not I don't bad. care. It's not that bad. But it's more so the principle of like you y'all everybody knew, hated these. Y'all knew we didn't like these y'all from the first one. These. Why did you put them in the second one, bro? Maybe as a troll. Maybe as a troll. Maybe as like a we don't care, but like I don't know. Or they or pages. it just they were like we ha- we have to it, the story we want to tell, we yeah. have to do this. Which again, it you guys have of. earned it. Like Insomniac, as far as I'm concerned, has earned having just like a little bit of like a. And they're not. We that didn't. Bad. We didn't entirely. Like I did this, not feel like. Weird. Oh my god! When is this over? I never felt like that playing the missions. Yeah. So that's that's an up. But I it is like what I will say time. is what I was worried about feeling was. Based on like what what some people were saying about the open world just being a carbon copy. To me, it does not feel like a carbon copy. I've only been in Times Square one time. Yeah, I've been there like once or twice. And I have been playing the game for over 10 hours. Wrong. How many side missions have you done? I've been doing a lot of side oh. stuff. I, I've been taking my time with the with the story. If Fair I had enough. been doing just the story, I probably would have been where you are. Mm, but But I've been doing a... Because I played for a couple hours last night, and then I essentially played a work day today. Oh, true. Spider-Man. You were playing all today. I forgot about that. So I, I have, I've been doing a lot of side stuff as it comes up. Yeah, true. Um, true. I've just bad uh, because I don't, I don't like usually saving all of that for the end. I do because the story flows so well that it feels un, it feels like, like bad RP to like. When, when I, the thing is, I know I'm gonna play this game again at least once. At right. least once, probably two, three, four. Well, more when times. they remaster it for the PS5, for the PS6, <laughs> for the PS5, it's just a PS5 game that they remaster yeah, for, they the remaster PS5. for the PS5. Well, I would buy it. You'd buy it. You'd buy it. Um, they finally figured out a way to do good, good graphics and make it at least sixty FPS. Do you want to know the reason? Money. No. What? They just made it for PS5. No, they didn't. They didn't do that in this game. I'm saying that's what the remaster is. Oh, I see what you're saying. There's still a fidelity in performance mode. Why? You can have both. I know. If you're playing on fidelity mode, bro, you just hate yourself. But you can have both. Like, look at a PC. They've been having fidelity plus performance since the dawn of times. Yeah, but there's not as much heart. There's not as much firepower in a PS5, bro. Their PC. What? Than a PC? Some. Well, can obviously, both. yeah, better than the fucking game we were playing. Look at MW. Rescue look, Heroes. Look at, dude, look at COD. Those have good graphics plus But if you if you look at the graphical difference between fidelity and performance mode, it is almost not no, recognizable. Nothing. So that's what I'm saying. You already have that. But then that's why I'm saying why if you... Two. That's I also don't get it because if you're playing on fidelity mode... And you have the choice to play at 4K, 60 frames, ray tracing. And you choose 30 Four, frames. And you, can, and you pick 4K, 30 frames, ray tracing. Ray tracing, you're, an, you're a that's psychopath. That's why I'm saying go put it in the game. But maybe some people like... No. I, then I, don't let I, them Maybe buy some the people game. do. Don't let them buy the game. Bro, you are... This is frame rateist. That's fine. I will gatekeep. You're a frame rate. I will gatekeep for people who genuinely enjoy 30 FPS. <laughs> well, it's fucked up. Well, what if they want it to feel like a like a movie? Arguably worse than racism. Arguably. Arguably. Is that way too far? <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, it's a um, fantastic, yeah, fantastic game. game. Great, Great job, job Insomniac. Insomniac. You guys really, really hit it out of the park. Um, I'm really happy with and honestly, I'm really happy that they sort of, you know, I'm really, I'm happy, really with, happy. And honestly, I'm really <laughs> happy with nobody interrupted you. And I'm really happy. I'm just really happy because we've been excited for this game for three years. And I feel like it was, worth, play. it was worth the wait. Where's the Wolverine game that was announced at the same time? That's what I'm asking. I think now that Spider-Man 2 is out, we're going to start Why announce hearing it then, some then? more about it. Just to get the 
Juice is flowing. I'll let everybody forget about it. Also, speaking of games that they announced at that uh, state of play, um, I don't know if you saw it. I don't think this was brought up, but a few weeks ago, the Knights of the Old Republic remaster Twitter was taken down, and all of the videos on YouTube were made private. So that game is not going to be coming out. God damn it. So. I'm still on Rebels. Oh! I haven't watched an episode in so long. You got stuff grinding. It's fine. There's too much content. It's too much. And I get in I get in moods where I'm like super into Star Wars and I'll grind the hell out of it. And then I get in moods where I'm like, meh. But once I start to get off this bulk and I start to hit cardio, I'll be able to have that time to watch it while I'm like on a walk or mm. something. Like at the, like on a treadmill or something. Mm-hmm. So that's when I'll catch up on a lot of content is then. Yeah. Because that's like an episode a day. Yeah. Which is like, I'll catch up like in no time. Oh, yeah. Well, but yeah, yeah, guys, if you have a PS5, go get Spider-Man 2. If you have an Xbox Series X, probably just sell it at this point. Go get the amazing um, Spider-Man 2. Get a PS5. Yeah. <laughs> get a PS5. I mean, at this point, you have to. Like, Starfield was a flop. You just have to. You just have, you have to at this oh, point. Halo Infinite? And cool. I think console wars at this point is stupid as well. This is not a console war. No. I am. This is me. We've won. Begging you. There are so many games for you to enjoy. And you know what? Keep your Xbox, but you have to go get a PS5, bro. Like if you, if you want to, like, if you want to play some fun games, it's Starfield like Starfield is level, not that game. Bro. The level of casual is like mobile switch, Xbox, PS5, PC. Yes. If you're on PC, you're filth. You're Honestly, I would say I would say this. I would re I would re I would redo that. Oh, Xbox order. Switch. I would put Xbox below Switch in terms of Xbox, casual. If you're playing, if you're playing on Xbox, chances are you have FIFA downloaded. If you are, like, or two K, two K, but, but or what FIFA. games I mean, have what games have Xbox put out for gamers? Well, Starfield. exclusive Starfield. Okay, Sunset game. Overdrive. Okay, game. Sunset Overdrive. Redfall. Bad, bad game. game sunset overdrive that game was an xbox one launch title and it was great 10 years ago and it was awesome and it's replayable as hell so rise played. son of rome that was awesome <laughs> I never played it but it looked awesome it was cool so, i did play cool, it it cool was theme. yeah for the time i like the graphics greece. i like ancient greece for the time that was a that, xbox that, one that launch. was that was that was a ancient title. ancient Rome, I believe. Oh, sorry, that, uh, hence yeah, the yeah. No, son of right. Rome. Uh, hence the son of Rome. No, you're right. Uh, so I was thinking Spartans. Yeah, which they are. No, Spartans are Greece, dumbass. You're right. They're they're whatever. I don't. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. I don't know. You're right, but I think they I think are. Gladiators. I think they were Spartans in the game. No gladiators, because think about like the Colosseum. Yeah, you're That's right. That's where your gladiators would fight. You're right. Like they're th- gladiating. In the Colosseum, they gladiate. They gladiate in the Colosseum. <laughs> gladiating in the Colosseum. In the Colosseum. Uh, I don't know what those Rome. I think they're just called Roman soldiers. They're just called Son of Rome. Yeah, but they kind of they kind of deserve to like be unrecognizable because of what they did. To Julius, to Jesus. Mm. Who? Mm. That's fucked up. <laughs> and guys, he died for your sins. And guys, have you guys ever listened to the George Jenko podcast? <laughs> Don't probably. I don't know what that is, but guys, you don't know who George Janko is. He's Logan Paul's Christian friend who got boosted. Did you see that Logan Paul said he found God? He found Jesus. Honestly, that got to turn you off Christianity right away. No, it doesn't. Logan Paul finds Jesus. You're like, mm, maybe this is overrated after all. No, you're that's you're bad. <laughs> and guys, we're gonna see be debating in religion in part two. Peace. Peace. I recently watched a video that was called Elden Ring Isn't Legendary. Okay. Now, I don't know if you've seen this video. It's by Quantum TV. Now, I didn't pay attention to that. I didn't pay attention to that. I didn't watch the whole video. I will say that. But there was one thing that kind of irked my gears. I kind of jerked my chain a little bit for free. It It beat my meat. Not in a weird way. Like in a, you know, in a normal way. (laughs) <laughs> in a normal not way. Not a weird way. Just beat my meat. <laughs> You're right. Well, 
Just have a thin mint and calm down. Okay, I'm already calm, dude. I don't need more thin mints. I'm going to be fucking bouncing off the walls. If I have eight more thin mints, I'm going to be bouncing off the walls. Obviously, eight minutes, so many. Dude, dude I'm so excited to play Spider-Man 2 for the rest of this dude, week. shut the fuck up. So, Elden Ring isn't legendary. Now, oh my god, he's so attentive. <laughs> so attentive. I'm trying to get invested so, in your story, man. You're taking 30 years to get going here. Oh, my shirt's... Where's your, where's your toe out? My shirt's coming out. Leave the toe bit. in. My belly's, my belly's gonna be... Leave the belly in. Sorry, guys. I know I keep fidgeting. My... My where's belly's your be- gonna. Where's your belly out? My belly's gonna come out here in a second. Put the Even belly away. Say some about my barrel. Leave the belly away. That like was on one of the. I think that was on the. Leave second, the belly in. That was on the second podcast where you where you where you just like well, admired. Yeah, big, yeah, belly. My my, my big fat ass. And okay, like, so Elden Ring isn't legendary. Try to guess why. Um, because it's hard. No. Because there's too much to do. Now let me dive. Well, let me delve into that. Interesting. Let me delve into that. Let me delve deep into that. Okay. Go ahead. So the problem this guy had with the game. Is this what this guy's going to be saying about GTA 6 when it comes out? No. Oh, fuck. There's way too this much to do. This is going on do. in GTA 6. They made the wrong game. He said that there is too many weapons. Sure. And why is this, that a bad thing? In the sense that's like, well, why are there so many? Um, they're not balanced properly. I want to try every single one, but every time I have to try one, I want to try one. I have to, oh, get the right smithing stones. I have to, oh, go and explore the dungeons. I have to, oh, I have to get the right ball bearings so that I can, oh, go, I have to go pull this lever and I have to go fight this boss. And then, oh, I get the one ball bearing that I have to get. And then, oh, I have to go and buy, I have to go collect runes. Oh, and then I have to go and, oh, I have to go buy the smithing stones. I have to go upgrade them. And then, Oh, maybe, maybe I'm not the right build. So I have to like level up on the. Okay. So basically what you're saying is this game sucks and isn't legendary because it made me play the game. The one thing that I will say is frustrating is that you can't respec or not respec, but you can respec easily. You know how like in getting um, a larval tier is nothing. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. You know how in, in like resident evil, the newer ones, when you sell a weapon that you spent a lot of money upgrading, you get the majority of the money back. Mm -hmm. I do think that it would benefit the game. If it gave you an option to essentially dismantle, dismantle or like, remove the upgrade on some weapons to be able to go and put it on other ones. So it's like you can have every weapon super, super powerful, but you have to play more. But if you're like, oh, I am i don't want to use that weapon anymore. I want to use this new weapon, but I don't have. So you just essentially make this weapon useless to be able to upgrade that weapon. Maybe not you don't get full or whatever, but some sort of mechanic where it's like as soon as you put a smithing stone into something, gone forever. You know? But smithing stones are so easy to come by. And the ball I bearings know, are not hard to get. They're in the game. And the ball bearings reason. make it so that you can buy an infinite amount yeah. of them, right? Yeah. So how about play the goddamn game? And if you're bad, just say it. Anybody, let's put it this way. Anybody who doesn't like Elden Ring, it's because you're, you're bad at it. It's a skill issue. There is no reason to hate that game. What if you don't like... Oh my god, it made me go and collect things. I just want to press one button and get everything unlocked ever. What if you don't like... uh, What are you talking about? What if you don't like like, uh, fantasy games? Well, skill issue. Oh my god. Well, why'd you buy it in the first place then? If you bought it, played it, it, and didn't like it, it's a skill issue. And you can just say that. No, I didn't like it because... Skill issue. I no, didn't I like, did no hit run. I didn't like it. I didn't like it because I really wanted a maiden. Oh, I said it, I was maiden. Exposed you. Yeah, I didn't. I, I play video games to escape. To escape. Not to be reminded of my say cruel reality. Did you say escape? Yep. Holy fuck! He's stupid. escape room. Do you say uh, especially? I say espresso. <laughs> you would. You're the type. What does that mean, man? You're the type. Dude, oh, so when, when I was in uh, when I was in Chicago, we went to a uh, a comedy show at Second City, and I got deviled eggs. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> because it was a Were full circle bit moment. Obviously, I did not know that 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 menu that deviled eggs was going to be on the Second City menu. 
But in the morning, we went out for brunch, and a few of the guys got, like, American breakfast where you can pick how you want your eggs done. Um, and we were, like... What'd you get? Soft scramble? Well, I got an Eggs Benedict. Holy fuck. Um, but, so we, rich. but we were saying, what is the worst way you could ask for your eggs to be done in one of these? <laughs> Deviled. And we had landed on deviled. <laughs> and then we get Yo, to the I event. I got a three egg breakfast. I'll get the bacon and the rye toast. How'd you like your eggs? Deviled. No. <laughs> It'd be like, what the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? would be like, no. Um, Please. I really want them deviled. I really, really want them deviled. No, um, you can't have them deviled. So then when we got to this this show, I saw it on the menu. And I was <laughs> that like, is funny. I was like, I have to get them, bro. And they were delicious. Oh, they were good. They were really good. good. Smoked salmon deviled eggs. Totally. Yeah, it was really, really good. And I polished them. Everyone was like, I'm not helping you eat those, bro. I'm like, I do not need. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want more for me. How many halves were there? There were six. Yeah, six halves. Oh, who's helping you eat that? Right, as if, but I think as if that, you got like a platter of I think deviled that they, eggs. Well, no, I think that they had thought that I was ordering it so that we could all have one because it oh. was a funny carry-on bit from the no, morning. But I'm like, this is hilarious, but also I genuinely want to eat them, and they I were really them. good. Um, I heard some bad news. What's up, man? So I've heard that Zelda is actually going to stay on the open air path. What the hell does that mean? I don't know if I like that. Does that mean it's like the same model? It's like game the pretentious model? of like open world. They're like, it's not open world because open world is like Spider-Man where they didn't say Spider-Man, but like Spider-Man where you have like specific missions, but, but open air is like Elden Ring oh, or you like do Breath of the Wild. You, you can kind of just do whatever you want. Like shut, first, uh, shut the fuck up. Mm. Okay. First off. That's first like when someone says quadruple A game, I'm like, who are you trying to impress, bro? To be honest, I think... Uh, I think Tears of the Kingdom suffered from a bit of recency bias. I'll be the first to say it. I think Breath... I mean, I was saying before Tears of the Kingdom came out, I thought Breath of the Wild was overrated. So you already know I think Tears of the Kingdom is overrated. I think Breath of the Wild was a phenomenal game because it was different. And it was brand new. And And that's fine. And then Tears of the Kingdom came out and it was fun. But now that I'm looking back, I'm like... I... The story was cool. The Ganondorf fight was cool. Pulling the Master Sword was cool. But like... I, I don't know if I had that. I don't know if I can leave that with the same confidence of saying that that's one of the best Zelda games. That's why I don't think Tears of the Kingdom's a lock for Game of the I Year. I know. That's what I was thinking too was like, yeah, I, I, I don't, at the time it seemed like it, but now that I'm looking back, I'm like, the game was fun, but like even just, I, the- I never really felt throughout it that I was like, this is the best fucking game I've ever played. I honestly, at this point, um, maybe not for game of the year. It just feels like Spider-Man two even has had more hype and talk about it than tears. Of the King. No, has. that I completely disagree. I, I don't think spider. I did. I see him just, maybe it's because of my algorithm, but I'm just seeing maybe. way, way, way more. I mean, I'm avoiding all of it. I, I don't, <laughs> but it just feels like everyone's everyone. It probably Baldur's was, Gate probably will win. I think Baldur's honest. Gate will win. It probably will win just because like tears. Of the kingdom will be nominated. Spider-Man two will be nominated. And they might win. I just think like I don't think Spider Man Two is gonna. I I never thought Spider Man Two. I was never going thought to win. so either. I didn't think it was gonna be that different of a game. No, it's Tears just a the continuation. Just like it's just a continuation of a really really fun game. Tears of the Kingdom was like there was a lot of speculation around it before the game came out about what it was gonna be, and then it came out and you're like, oh, this is well, this is like really good, but it's it's still not really what what we wanted. It's just. Even looking back, like it, it is kind of just Breath of the Wild. It's like, just Breath it, it's of the Wild like, with like Sky it's, Islands. It's Breath of the Wild the same way that MW3 is MW2. Like Breath of the Wild was pretty much a beta for M, for MW2. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, t- Breath of the Wild was basically a beta. I love for playing Rust on Breath of the Wild. Oh yeah, one v one Rust and yeah, Breath, of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Um, Breath of the Wild was pretty much a beta for Tears of the Kingdom. The same way MW2 was pretty much just a beta for MW3. Like, Mm -hmm. they're basically the same game. MW3 is just, like, a better version of MW2, first off, by a lot. But it's the same way, like, the same way that uh, Tears of the Kingdom is a better version of Breath of the Wild. The only reason why I wouldn't put it above Breath of the Wild is just because... (laughs) <laughs> it didn't really do anything new. It didn't really do anything crazy. So there wasn't that feeling of like, this is fucking awesome. It was like, 
Yeah, I kind of just feel like I'm playing Breath of the Wild. Now, obviously, I love Spider-Man too, but couldn't you say the same thing about that game, though? And that's why it won't win Game of the Year. So you're saying it doesn't take away from your enjoyment of the game at all? No. It just I, I thoroughly make enjoyed it. Tears of the Kingdom. I put like 100 hours into it. It just doesn't make it Game of the Year worthy for you. I don't think it does. I agree I that think it does. I agree that Game of the Year should be an innovative title. The same way that I'm playing Spider-Man 2, I'm loving the story. There's a lot of cool things going on, but I, I'm not really playing it ever feeling like this is fucking awesome. This is the best game I've ever played. I'm playing it being like, this is fun. As much fun as I was having the first time, and it's cool that we're getting a new story. But I'm not like jumping out of my chair. This is the best game I've ever played. I agree. I, f- I, I was thinking about that yesterday or even today. Yeah, today when I was playing it, I'm like, this is just a continuation of fun. Yeah, it's good. But really, I am playing this for the story. Oh, yeah. And and the symbiote. I I haven't gotten it yet. But like, you're playing it to see what happens in the story, like the cool boss yeah. fights and the cool like cinematics. Yeah, like, and yeah. Like who's it, who's the emotional gonna, ride. The yeah, emotional like what villains coaster. are going to be in it. Who the twists and turns, the story, the boss exactly. Exactly what you just I said. think I already know who's gonna die in it and how the end is gonna happen, not because of the spoilers, just because it's like just because you think it's, it's trending towards that it's way. It's kind of obvious. I haven't gotten um, any... I wouldn't even say trending towards that way. I just feel like it's obvious. I feel like I can just guess like who else could possibly die in this game. Well, in if a tra- you think in a about tragic it, way. No one did in the first oh, I guess MA May did. Forgot about that. Yeah, I haven't really I was trying to think about it, I'm like would they? Maybe I just haven't gotten far enough in the story. Do you want me to really tell you my way. theory or no? It's a theory that's based purely on nothing, so it's it's not like I saw something that's leading me to this direction. I mean... I want to call it early. Yeah, I mean, go for, go for it. I, if it's not based on anything it's not based that on has anything happened other yet... other than just my have experience of storytelling. Do you think Peter's going to die? No. Who? I think Harry is going to die. Yeah, I mean... I think the same way Eddie Brock dies in the movie... The same way Darth Vader dies in the movie, yeah, they're gonna he's gonna be the big bad villain. He's yeah. gonna turn Ven- into Venom. It's obviously probably Harry. I think I don't know if Venom is Harry. So it's I still that that's it still you still haven't seen Venom. No, that's so crazy that you can be seventy. Like I thought that Venom was gonna. I knew that Craven was pro- was likely. I think Venom's the final boss, unless it's Craven. You think so? Craven. I think Craven's gonna be the final. I, don't, boss. I just haven't. I just haven't. I think we're gonna fight Venom. It's probably going to be like Spider. Look, this is my bet. This is my guess. It's going to be like Spider Man Three, okay? Um, oh no, that didn't happen in Spider Man Three. Okay, wait, never mind. What's going to happen is you're going to be fighting Venom. It's going to be Harry. You're going to be fucking him up. You're going to be like Harry. This isn't you. It's not him. You both fight along with Miles Morales. You fight Craven. Craven kills Harry and the symbiote, and Craven gets also locked up, and then Harry dies. I in have a slightly different theory you think mary jane's gonna die no i agree with you we probably should have given a spoiler warning here but it's not spoilers this is our speculation yeah i guess um i do agree with you that i can see harry dying but i'm calling a curveball on who i think venom is craven i think norman Mm. is venom that would be cool because I think the game wants it, you to think that to Harry is Venom. That's and I, I think that because hair like unless the symbiote really is just like is it if it's like it is in the movie where it just the symbiote turns you evil, don't say yes or no because I haven't gotten the symbiote yet. So if it is like that, then I can see Harry being. But if it is not like that, this is a spoiler. Coming up for the first 30 seconds of the game. Okay, so if you don't want a single second of the game spoiled, skip ahead. When the game starts, like I said when I got here, the cutscene that's playing is like a flashback. Do you remember that? When it's before Harry even goes into the tank? No. Did you do the previously on? Is that what you're talking about? I did, but... Like the recap? It's not that? I don't think so. Okay. Um, but, and so if it was, I'll just tell you what happened. Just tell me what happened. In the thing. I thought that this happened right when I pressed new game. It might have. Um, and you just might be forgetting it. But essentially, it's like two year. It's like takes place before the first game. It's before Harry. He's like looking at the tank that he was going to be put into. 
and Norman comes up to him. You can see the symbiote in the tank already. And and Harry's like, oh, wait, 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 like, is it going to be good? Blah, 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 blah. And then Norman like is like, Harry, it's going to be okay. And then a piece of symbiote comes out I of like, Norman remember that. And, and like goes on to Harry. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking like, what if he got, he either like took a bit for himself. Hmm. So that's, that's my theory is that it, it might be leading you in one direction because that's what we all think from coming off the first game. And he's got that going for him. Mm -hmm. But only time you never know. But that is that is fascinating that you, that Venom doesn't show up until because it like that was the whole marketing. I know was nineteen inches of Venom. Nineteen inches of Venom. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was the it was the the collector's edition, the physical collector's edition. I certainly have s talked to you about this and sent you it. Maybe I, I, I just the the PlayStation UK account when they announced the collector's edition, um, it comes with like a Venom figure, like a figurine. Yeah, and the tweet was like, "Pre-order your collector's edition today to, today to receive your full 19 inches of Venom." <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like I I hope this isn't a spoiler. I don't think it is. Spoiler! I still have the black suit. Yeah, no, I know. Like, like, so I'm, I'm deep into the game and I still have it. Yeah. I can kind of tell. I don't think I? that, I don't think that the game will end and you won't have the symbiote. You think I have it for the rest of the game? I kind of think that you just learn to control it or I just think that, yeah, I mean, unless they plan on taking away abilities after the game's over. That, that's what I was thinking too. I like, don't think that they would do that. It was that. like post game. How do you how do you go back to symbiote? I don't think they would do that. That's why I think that they, they either something in the story happens. Wait, were you, you in in the Spider Man three like the original like PS two or maybe the PS three version? Couldn't you switch back and forth like on the fly? I think you're right. <coughs> now that I'm, I'm trying thinking, to think, I think you're right. Yeah, I I think you could because we're think because I'm thinking about the movie where he either has it or he doesn't. Or this or like the story will end, and you won't have it. But then once you finish the main story, it'll be like you've unlocked the power yeah, to that, have. I, that's what I also change. assumed. It might be like you ha you've unlocked the power to change. That's just bad RP though. Well, who cares? The story's over. A lot of people. I care. I care. I will cry probably. I would care. I wouldn't care that much. Um, I probably wouldn't play the rest of the game, but. I don't want to rush through the game. I want to just enjoy it. Um, I want to. I want to. But get I would imagine. I would imagine that I'll probably. I'll definitely be done the story. If not, probably not tomorrow. Maybe by Wednesday, I'll be done the story. Um, but I would imagine I can probably complete the game this week. Hmm. I get the platinum trophy. This oh yeah. Week. By yeah, you have all day every day. Yeah. Yep. And I intend to do all day every day. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. But I was going to say something. Oh, right. So going back to what I was going to say about bad news is that Legend of Zelda, I watched a video, was like the two, I don't know their names or what their things are, but two high up guys in the Zelda design. Like at Nintendo. Yeah, like at Nintendo. We're talking about how like open air is the foreseeable future for Zelda. That's upsetting. Which is upsetting. That unless... just makes me uninterested in Zelda games for the near future. I, they just they have to do something like Elden Ring. They just have to make the world more happening, yeah, more bustling, dude. There was nowhere in Elden Ring where you would look and not want to go, yeah, and be like, "There's probably something over there." And if not, then that's fine. It's a, still a cool thing that I just explored. In fact, the problem with Elden Ring is that I would see two paths, and I'd be like, "Fuck." Well, I want to go down both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Zelda like for, it was well, one okay. of those problems where I'm like I don't know which way to go that will allow me to play longer. That's what I felt like. This is what they need to do. They need to if they it's just going to you're going to we're both going to be like this is just a copy of Elden Ring. But I think Elden Ring did a, I think they made a perfect open world game. I don't think there's a single tweak that I would made make to Elden Ring in terms of the type of game that it is. I agree. Um, I think the only thing that I would change, 
I wish the story Radon little... wasn't riding that fucking donkey. I would make the story maybe a little bit more digestible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And, yeah. Because the story is genuinely fascinating, but you have to read the item descriptions if you want to get yeah, the like, story. It's like, like I don't want to do yeah, that, bro. I don't want to read... I don't want to read the the lore of the underwear that I'm wearing to yeah. understand who this character I'm beating up is. Yeah, like there's the overarching story of like, um, like Scarlet. They they destroy the Elden Ring for. Do we know why or no? I think people just they were just sick were, of the. They were just they just yeah they they were just they sick were, of the uh, the the ruling the ruling I, of the Elden Ring. I think people just went went a little. A little cuckoo? A little cuckoo wanted to overpower and yeah, they say, they, fuck it. So they destroyed the Elden Could Ring. Could be totally wrong about which, that, by the way. Which which uh, started the Scarlet Rot. No, it started the war, which eventually led to Melania bitch-moding it and Scarlet exploding her ass over her Kaled. Oh, okay. So then, but isn't Scarlet Rot what drove everybody mad? Like, that's why everybody wants to kill you? And wants like their own thing. Again. Again. I don't know. Necessarily. I wish Either that way, they had told me one way or the other. Either way, the Elden Ring was destroyed. It basically caused everybody to like say, fuck, this is, I want to rule the world. You who died in that war, I assume. Again. You get rezzed. Sure, tarnished in some way yeah. and have no maidens. You get rezzed and your mission is to put an end to these fucking villains and become the Elden Lord and rule over and bring balance to the Force. Limgrave. Bring balance to Limgrave. They're not the other ones. Just Limgrave. Bring Fuck balance, all those other places. Bring balance to the lands between. Hmm. Right? That's the main story. More or less. Sure. More or less. We'll say the Dung Eater is in there somewhere. Exactly. The loathsome Dung Eater could have been used better. Doesn't he's eat in dung. In the goddamn first like cutscene, and he's barely in the game. Doesn't even eat dung. Anyways. Um, Did you get the coveted secret Bioware loathsome dung eater bang cutscene? No, I didn't. Unfortunately, I I couldn't find it. I didn't. I didn't do the button sequence. Mm, I didn't do the cheats. You didn't do the sex mini game with no, I, uh, didn't. I didn't do the cheats <laughs> with the button A A B down down X triple X Y. So crazy to see where God of War is now, and to think that like the old games, every one of them had a sex mini game. That's funny. <laughs> um, let me get my point out before. Yep. So, if Breath, if the next Zelda is going to be good, the first thing it needs to change, well, the first thing it needs to change is making the world, like, more interesting. Mm -hmm. They need to make more going on. They need to make diverse villains. They need to make my diverse enemies. There needs to be more than four dungeons. Yep. And the dungeons were, the dungeons were mid. I will say that as a Zelda fan, the dungeons were mid. Not what I was expecting. The dungeons in Breath of the Wild were less than appealing to me. And the ones in this one were, like, a little bit better. Anyways. Like, if if on a scale of 1 to 10, the dungeons in Breath of the Wild were, like, a 5, these were, like, a 6. When I look at... Like, Just the, the reason when I look back on Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess is because of how unique and fun yeah. the dungeons were. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, first thing they need to do... Mm -hmm. Is make a better world. Yep. Like I said, copy in, copy Instagram, copy Elden Ring. Right. So mm -hmm. many places to explore. They reward your exploring. There's so many things in between your main story. I was one shotting Margit by the time I got <laughs> to him. Right? Yeah. Um. That's the first. Second. Get rid of this fucking cartoony ass art style, bro. Don't make Link this tall. And a little, little, witty, witty, bitty pookie bear. He's a short king. I don't want to play as that Link. I feel like a little bitch. Not going to lie. Hmm. I feel like a little bitch. And you look like a little they bitch in to, real life. And I, I am a little bitch. That's why I want to ex escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. want to escape. I agree. So that's two. Get rid of that art style. It's poopy. They've done it enough at this point. Two at in a row. Point, go on to something else. Go on to a new IP. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Like a new link. Yeah, yeah. A new story. Agreed. Um, third thing. Well, in the second thing, make the graphics Twilight Princess. They need a better... They need... I think that what they need to do is... Make it like Elden. Make a new console. Well, it, I don't think another <laughs> Zelda is going to come out on this console. Honestly. No. Um, unless it's like a remaster of the old ones, which would yeah. be awesome. Would um, be. 
They need to make it like Twilight Princess because what happened with Twilight Princess was <coughs> when they made Ocarina of Time and they made Majora's Mask, those were great. And they made all the other 2D Zeldas, all cartoony. They made Wind Waker even more cartoony. Mm -hmm. They saw the success. You know, Wind Waker was a great selling title. Ocarina was a great selling title. Majora's Mask was a great selling title. Mm -hmm. They went a different way with Twilight Princess. I think Miyamoto was scared to do so. They almost didn't release Twilight Princess because he was afraid that it was too realistic. Nobody was going to like the art style. Well, was the art style a leading driving factor to it being the number one Zel selling Zelda of all time, disregarding Breath of the Wild and probably now Tears of the Kingdom? I think so. That's what a lot of people say. Hmm. So Forest Temple scared me in that game. Exactly. That's what makes it awesome. Make the game scary. Make the game like... There's, there's like a... Uh, there's a part in Spider-Man where I was like spooked, spooked. And I was like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah. We need more of this. Um, so that's to make it realistic graphics. Like again, like Elden Ring graphics, um, or like Twilight Princess graphics. Did it again. Yeah. Number three is the dungeons. Obviously. Obviously. You got to make them entertaining. You got to make them unique. And you need, you got to yeah, make yeah. them cool. Um, I would say that that's it. The story was the story was cool in this one. It was fine. The the fucking Ganondorf fight was sick. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. The reveal, the Ganondorf reveal, I loved. Didn't see that coming. What? That the thing at the beginning was Ganondorf. Wait, what thing at the beginning? The guy who's hitting you with oh, the anime. I knew that before the game started. Oh, okay. Well, I watched so many Zelda theory videos that it was like. Oh, I didn't. This I, is Zelda. I this just is going to be Ganondorf, right, guys? And then it I just watched so. Ludwig's video where he played the whole game on stream. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's a weird. And then I was like, oh, big reveal. Didn't I like again? No, I kind of knew. But I think you were meant to not. Yeah. No, it was meant to definitely be a big reveal. Um. Yeah, I mean, but again, they're not they going to put that. a Zelda game out for like six years. It's going to be so a while. It's going to be a while. But while. Breath of the Wild, yeah, it's probably going to be six years. Breath of the Wild came out in 2017, and uh, this one is going to have this one came out in 2023. It's supposed to be 2022, but 2023. So, see you in 2030. Six years. I will have kids. Probably. Holy fuck. That's what I thought we were going to be playing MW3. <laughs> I thought they came that out too. The, they came out with it the next year. So I remember saying to, that. We don't have to wait five years to kill Makarov. Yeah, holy we shit. We only have to wait one month. Jesus. Um, and guys, guys, let us know what you think of Spider-Man 2. No spoilers, though. Let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> it's just the most abrupt ending ever. <laughs> guys. Guys, let us know how you think the next Zelda could be better. Burr. Burr. <laughs> and guys. Make the game like Elden Ring. Basically, if you're going to make a medieval open world game and it's not like Elden Ring, it's just like, it's just like, what are you doing? They should Burr. make, they should make a Lord of the Rings or, <laughs> or they should make a Game of Thrones open world game. They should make a Star Wars Knights of the Old, Old Republic, Republic remake game. They should make a Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake. They should make Burr. just any game in the Old Republic time. Burr. Um, yeah, no, I agree. Burr. Burr. See you on the next episode, episode number 50. Burr. We're doing something big, guys. We're, we're, we're getting naked.